Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Four Sauvignons on at the table in front of me, three of them from New Zealand. First one, though, is a Sancerre, Chen Saint-Louis, Sancerre 2012. Uh, let's give this one a whirl. 2012 was a bit of a difficult vintage in the Loire, but uh, here I don't notice any of those uh, slightly rotty flavour that you get in, in, in some of the wines. What I do notice is um, quite, it's quite a rich, full-bodied wine. Let's have a look at what the alcohol is. Um, 12.5%. Oh, it smells like it's, it's, it's fuller and richer than that. There's a, uh, a bit of um, ripe apple fruit alongside the more regular citrus flavours. Touch of flint there. It smells okay. Then when you taste it, there's a little touch of the gum flint in there. There's herbs, there's the citrus fruit, maybe there is a little touch of that, um, um, what they call jasmine, just uh, giving a little bit of a slight grey rot dryness uh, to um, on the finish. So good, but uh, yeah, just about good. I, it, it's okay. Hey, um, three New Zealanders now. Uh, let's do uh, the Wine Society's uh, exhibition at uh, Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough, made for them by Hunters, first. 2013 has been a cracking vintage for them in Marlborough and uh, uh, it's interesting to see how the styles in Marlborough, it used to be like there was like one wine and 85 different labels, now there's more of a diversity of styles. Uh, so this one is one of those where it's got the, uh, the slight black currant leaf the, um, the, the, and the gooseberry bush in there as well. Um, it smells like it's going to be taut but ripe and um, yes yeah, some of these, these plumper fleshier flavours uh, rather than just slightly screeching acidity. It's quite a big gutsy wine that. Uh, what's the alcohol? 13.5%. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm tasting it on a slightly warm day here. Well, it's quite a nice warm day. It's about 20 centigrade outside. And uh, it's been out of the cellar for about um, about an hour. And at this, te at this temperature, uh, the, the exuberant flavours are coming out. So you're getting uh, things like, yes, there's the citrus um, and there's the green gauge. But there's also more exotic passion fruit type characters uh, in there too. But... Uh, and I'm trying not, not to use the word uh, tautness and restraint, but there is some freshness there to uh, hone the finish and to polish it and stop it getting that little bit too uh, uh, too big and wobbly. But nice wine. I mean, it, it's it, it, there'll be I'm sure there'll be some people who sort of will taste it and go, whoa, that's a bit too much wine in the glass. I don't mind that on, on occasion. This is some, sometimes I want wine just like this. So that was uh, Hunters under the Wine Society label. Uh, this next wine, Hunters uh, Cajo Roa uh, 2012 Winemaker Selection Sauvignon Blanc. Let's give this one a whirl. And I was just looking on the back label and apparently Cajo Roa means barrel, uh, Ma Maori for barrel age. I, I, I didn't think that was uh, barrel aging was a major part of, uh, of Maori culture, but apparently it is. And when you stick your nose in there, there's some of that uh, smokiness that comes through. And uh, in white Bordeaux, I get this uh, slight tinned pear character coming through, and I get that here. But there's also some more of the uh, more traditional grassy um, asparagus flavours that uh, are more typical of Marlborough. Yeah, a little bit of uh, sappy grassiness, verging on the pea pod. Um, it's a style that um, will, uh, I, I think the, uh, uh, the unoaked one, the previous one, will be more what people expect. Here there'll be some people who are going, what's going on here? And that smoky, um, slightly developed flavour, because it's, it's one year on from the previous one. It's starting to develop some of these canned vegetable or vegetal flavours and um, I quite like it. I, I can think, I, I would probably want to drink more of the previous one. Uh, this one though, if you had it with some smoked fish, I think it would go down rather nicely. Final Kiwi one, um, and we're not in Marlborough at all here, we're in, um, we're in Hawke's Bay uh, for Tematas Cape Crest Sauvignon Blanc, and it's 2010 vintage. This is the current release. It's a, a style uh, that's, yeah, it's not like Marlborough. Uh, it's a warmer region, and um, is it a better region, a worse region, or just a different region? Let's have a see. And the strange thing is, I stick my nose in there, and it's these developed flavours, almost like the type of developed flavours that you're starting to get in uh, um, in Riesling. Um, there's some of that ever so slight petroleum character, a uh, bit of kerosene. There is the fruit there, and this, it's all what I call that green spectrum of fruit. Fruit, so it's the uh, slightly unripe plums, the green gauges, bit of the citrus in there, uh, but uh, it smells like it's going to be rounder and fleshier than the, the, and less angular than the uh, the Marlborough ones. Nice wine, that big, quite powerful, rich style, um, and not afraid to have that little bit of the 
of the herbal character. I wouldn't be surprised if there was an ever so slight touch of sweetness in there. So, uh, and yes, I, I, I thought barrel fermentation is uh, giving, giving some uh, richness, roundness and a bit of toasty character. Uh, I wasn't quite sure whether the toasty character was from uh, aging on the lees in a, in a large tank or from a barrel. Apparently it's from, uh, it's from the barrel. And there's this pithy character and I've just seen it's got some semion in there. I think that semion is the thing that, uh, uh, as it's aging, it's making sure that uh, it's saying to the Sauvignon, go on, keep going, keep going. I'll be the fresh one. You just be the, the one that stands at the front of the stage and, uh, and waves its arms. And it does it really nicely. I think my favourite of those four. And, uh, yeah, maybe you want to describe it as Sauvignon for Chardonnay fans. Uh, and, um, yes, I'll probably drink more Chardonnay than Sauvignon, so that's the one I'm going to be tucking into tonight. See you soon.